Next here, a rising young Republican star is now under fire from his own party. North Carolina Congressman Madison Cawthorn, the youngest member of Congress at age 26, making stunning claims on a podcast about the sexual behavior and drug use he says he's seen in Washington. GOP colleagues now calling him out and House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy saying the freshman lawmaker was not telling the truth. Here's ABC's Rachel Scott. He's the youngest member of Congress, a rising star in the Republican Party, a leading Trump supporter speaking at that rally on January 6th. My friends, I will tell you right now that there is a new Republican Party rising. But tonight, Republicans say that after a string of controversies, Congressman Madison Cawthorn has finally crossed the line with his claim that people in Washington, presumably GOP lawmakers, invited him to sex parties and use cocaine. I look at all these people, a lot of them that I, you know, I've looked up to through my life, I've always paid attention to politics, guys that, you know, it, then all of a sudden you get invited to, like, well, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get-together at one of our homes, you should come. And I'm like, what, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Yeah. Uh, or, or the fact that, you know, there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove, you know, addiction in our country. And then you watch them do, you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you. House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy, who has been reluctant to discipline other members for making outrageous comments, summoned Cawthorn to his office for a scolding. He's lost my trust. He's going to have to earn it back. He's got a lot of members very upset. McCarthy telling reporters Cawthorn did not tell the truth. He claims he watched people um, do cocaine. Uh, no, then when he comes to tell me, he says, you know, he thinks he saw maybe a staffer in a parking garage from 100 yards away and tell me that he doesn't know what cocaine is. It's just frustrating. Sources say the Republican leader asked Cawthorn to publicly apologize, but so far, Cawthorn has refused. His Republican colleagues infuriated. What did you make of those comments? Well, irresponsible. Irresponsible. What he's saying can't possibly be true. I just think it puts us in bad light. Both of North Carolina's Republican senators say they will not back Cawthorn in his upcoming primary, calling him an embarrassment, saying he lacks the most basic standards of a congressman, but he still has one big name in his corner, and that is Donald Trump, who announced today that Cawthorn will be a guest at his rally in North Carolina. Whit. Rachel Scott on Capitol Hill. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.